Right, well I find myself having to start this movie, although I didn't really want to, um, because we've uh, had to keep the um, identity of our disabled person um, uh, who's going to show you just how hard it is to go from Nottingham Station to the taxi rank. She wants her identity kept a secret, so uh, we, we, we've taken out the interview with her at the start, but this is what we're about to show you when we walk out behind her and follow her to the nearest taxi. So have a look and see what you think. I'll follow you along if you'd like to take the lead. Thank you. Right, just bear in mind, this is a, a less fortunate passenger, a less able passenger, leaving the station. Yeah. Now, no taxis, not a taxi. Police van over there because it's football day, but a clear road, yeah, no taxis, okay? No stopping, Nottingham City. Exit locked and closed. Alternative doors. So you couldn't come out of that one if you wanted to. Now, I'd also like you to consider this may be a person on crutches or a person in a non-motorised wheelchair, which again, um, goes under your own steam. Same with crutches. Crutches would obviously slow the, the walk even further. Right, still no taxis. Still no taxis. You got a vehicle turned in there where it shouldn't have. Right, well that's par for the course. You have a loading bay here. You know, this, this could easily house taxis. And once this leftover road works from before Christmas is removed, you could even have a rank of taxis here. But yet still only has to travel even further through pedestrianised buildings, building yard, that incidentally isn't covered by CCTV. So two things you can consider here is now it's getting late at night, supposing it's late at night, you, you, you've no CCTV coverage. Worse still, as I pointed out earlier, supposing it was raining. Raining. Now, we're up to two and a half minutes at a, at a motorised pace. Three minutes at a motorised wheelchair pace. You could double that at least for um, crutches users and for people using their own uh, non-motorised wheelchairs would probably, well, I don't know, um, would probably be just a little slower, I would have thought. Now, here we are. We're going to take a break. So we're now up to uh, the tram section of the uh, railway station. And there is an exit up here that you'll see in a minute where it says station entrance. But it's um, interesting to note there is no disabled access in or out, egress or access, at this point of the station. Which incidentally is the closest point to the taxi rank, which is still quite a way away. So, uh, Just here, darling. Oh, there you go. Look, that was perfect. We're just talking about the taxi rank and how no one can find it, and and how bad it is and with um, people with um, disabilities or elderly. So it's very interesting. You should come along and, and say, "I'm looking for the taxi rank." It's hidden behind all these police vehicles. Yeah. Well, exactly. That's where you'd expect to find the taxi rank. I'm glad you said that, and it's you know it has proved the point that everyone that comes out of the station. It's, in, it's tradition to see a taxi rank right outside the station. So we're going to try and prove this to Councillor John Collins and Nick McDonald because they, they, they've been pushing the taxis further and further away from the station, which is absolutely insane. And, uh, well, that's, that's great. 
lady just getting into her taxi now um, approached us while we were travelling down towards the front of the rank um, to ask us where the taxi rank was, which was, you know, pretty much perfect for what we're trying to explain here. So here we have uh, a five minute walk, I'd say, five minutes by the time we got here, um, to the front of the taxi rank. Um, I'm lucky I can walk. Some people aren't so lucky. They're on crutches or they're in wheelchairs um, or they are literally they're carrying two children and four bags of shopping or excess luggage. All of these people leaving the station should be able to get into a vehicle that is licensed to pick them up. Bear in mind, these guys pay a license to do this job and they're being pushed away from the market. It's absolutely insane. Councillor John Collins, Councillor Nick McDonald, sort your shit out.